Let's go. Round one. It is happening. Two of the greatest. Uh, the tension in the room. And there's... PR lifestyle is more than just hitting a PR in the squat bench or deadlifts. A PR could be going a week without skipping a meal. It's about being the best version of yourself, always improving. Welcome back, you dead set legends. What a way to kick off King of the Table 6 with Sabine and Pavlo. That was a genuine banger. Really good match there. So what is happening now? We have a legend versus legend match. We have an icon versus icon. You're going to have the greatest against arguably the strongest to ever be on a table. These two are having a match 15 years in the making. It is going to be something else. If you are sitting down, you'll need to stand up. And what we're going to do now is we are going to hear from two of the best to ever hit an arm wrestling table. John Brzezink, I'm currently living in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Dennis, uh, last time we competed, I think the super match was 2007, 2008, something like that. I'm Denis I'm working in arm wrestling for a long time, more than 10 years. В начале карьеры боролся больше, больше, сейчас чуть-чуть вот меньше, редко, но метко, как говорится. Для того, чтобы получить удовольствие, наверное, в первую очередь. Ну и вот возвращаешь к этому снова и снова. He's been kind of in a, a, a small retirement for the last three, four years. I've been in retirement for about five before I made this comeback, so I know what that feels like. It takes a while to uh, get your stride back. Я не понимаю. На каком я сейчас уровне? Это первое. Да, я там с ребятами поборолся, поспарринговался, но я как бы не считаю это. И говорить то, что как я буду сейчас, то есть я на пик не вышел, тот, который у меня был. То есть я еще к нему иду, да. Но в какой форме Джон, это только он может сказать, если брать вот этот промежуток времени. We'll see, we'll see where he's at. I'm, I, I know where I'm at. It's been... I say just a year, but it's probably been almost a year and a half since my comeback. I'm feeling good for my age. I've peaked again. I'm, I'm to my level that I'm, I'm, you know, the strongest I'm gonna probably ever get uh, being, you know, back for the year. The Dennis that I pulled was the young, new, uh, maybe stronger Dennis. He's he's developed into a strong arm wrestler now, and he's he's got a lot of, different techniques that he uses that are very effective. Во-первых, 15 лет мы первый раз поборолись назад, потом мы боролись еще раз, и потом еще раз боролись. Это уже было там 10 лет назад. Примерно понимаешь, с кем имеешь дело. В любом случае, в случае он опытный, опасный всегда. I've seen him progress. I've obviously he's he's arm wrestled all the very best. I hope that I still feel as comfortable as I once did with him. He's got a very intimidating, thick, strong hand. He's very controlling. I've noticed that he likes to pull outside quite a bit. He's almost kind of doing a somewhat of a, a king's move. If, if the opportunity arises, I definitely would love to test to see where his inside, inside strength is currently. That might be something that I could possibly expose. John, дорогой, ты мой кумир. То есть я следовал по этому пути благодаря тебе, вершине. Ну, опять вот мы встретились, можно сказать. Мне будет очень приятно побороться с тобой, получить очередное удовольствие от борьбы с тобой. Денис, thank you uh, for allowing me the opportunity to pull you again and to test your abilities on your comeback. 
uh, very grateful, um, excited. Um, I hope you're in great shape. I hope you do well, uh, but I'm bringing the heat and I'm, I'm coming after you. So um, it's going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy it. Ну, желаю удачи, хорошей борьбы, победить сильнейший. How can you not get excited about that? Two genuine legends of the sport. One is coming back after a five, six year layoff. The other one, as you heard in the video, had a bit of retirement and he is absolutely killing it on his comeback tour. Ladies and gentlemen, can everyone please be upstanding? Please stand up, hop on your feet. This is the greatest arm wrestler of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect storm, John Brzezing. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect storm, John Berzank is here. He's taking one of his most epic opponents ever in Denis Siplenko. John looks ready. John is focused. He is the greatest of all time. It's a treat for us to keep watching him pull. 50 years old, 110 kilos. Absolutely the best there ever is, the best there ever was, John Berzank. There it is. He is at the table, the greatest of all time. And he is going to have some sort of inhumane opponent right next to him. Can we please welcome back to Supermatch Arm Wrestling Format. This is the cyborg, Dennis Sepulchre. Denis Tsiplenko, probably one of the most impressive pullers of all time. And I never thought I will see him return, let alone be here, announce this match versus him and John Berzank. Ladies and gentlemen, all over the world, we, we are in for a treat. 40 years old, 125 kilos, big, massive, strong, and ready. If you think Dennis is hands are amazing or big you should feel the goosebumps on my arm i just cannot believe i just introduced john brzink and dennis Saplenkov to the table in a comeback match look at the size of him that is just a legend versus a legend icon Absolutely. versus icon coach ray we are here in 2023 calling john brzink versus dennis Saplenkov. need the john right now straight to the straps Dennis wanted to go straight for the strap, set grip by WL, pretty much what they used before. And uh, you can, in King of Table, you can choose either WF or set grip. They went straight to the straps. John has some thumb issues. He said that would be better. Look at that hand of Dennis. It is something else. That is Sausage Fingers personified. <laughs> I'll tell you, he is just uh, the cyborg. Dennis Saplenkov, he's just got to wrap around there. 
But hey, he had a big, massive hand back at Vendetta in Las Vegas, and it was the man on the other side of the table, the greatest, the GOAT, was the one to able to get it done. Can history repeat itself? Or is it Dennis's turn to have the I'm great so story with the comeback? Like, this is this is absolutely things I dream about in the world of armor slang for I don't know how, how many years. Just being here and you know witnessing the history right here in front of us, John Berzank, Dennis Tipenko, let's Let's go. Round one. It is happening. Two of the greatest. Uh, the tension in the room. And there's the hit. Oh! is holding back. He's holding back. And Dennis looks like in control. But John stops him. John's pronator still holds. John is trying to work that hand of Dennis. Right there. Dead in the center. Now, Dennis's bicep is just going to explode. Wow. John wow. Now it's a surge. John wow. gets it. Wow. Oh, what a John, catch! On. What a catch from John Brzezik, but he's John conceded can see. a real one. I think, I think he did a smart job there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the match. We are in the match. Welcome back. Wow. That is the flick of the hairs on oh, the back of my neck are standing up. They probably poke Coach Ray in the eye. But geez, the surge from Dennis, and then John acted like he was an outfielder in baseball. That catch was something else. We have a match, Coach oh, Ray. We, we have a match. a match. This is the things we dream about. We are witnessing it. I just hope, I just hope John has great strategy, better strategy than he had in his last match, and he uses it very wisely. He was losing his pronator too much, and he just conceived this match. But he made Dennis work, and that's what you want to get with the guys with big arms, with big muscles. You won't get a lot of blood in those arms because they get pumped real fast. John isn't the most muscular guy. If you look at, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my kids that you know that is the Santa Claus. You know, comes every year and gives us presents. Oh, uh, he is just greatness personified. He is looking incredible. I can't believe John just got a stop. Now, everyone thought Dennis was going to blow over and take it. Now, he's done the hit. Now, the monkey's off the back. The, the cobwebs are gone. Can Dennis now shift and go into level two in round number two? John looking calm. He's been here before. He's been one nil before. But now, as Dennis walks around to the table... Dennis Siplenko, 40 years old versus 58 years old. John Berzank, there's a reason. There's a reason. Every single person that knows Armistling knows who the greatest puller of all time is. And he's right there he's right on there. screen. He is there on screen. They're straight into the straps. So every round will start into the straps, guys. You see Dennis just looking to kick back, and he almost went full-blown King's move. Even Bill's having trouble trying to wrap the strap around those mitts. They are absolutely massive. But if one person can stop the giant hand of Dennis, it's the man staring across the other side of the table at him. I can't wait for the next five rounds to go because that first one, was nothing John is, short of incredible. John is looking very good, very calm, not sweating much. That's he it. had his respiratory issues, and we keep forgetting that he is almost 60 years in, old. In He's circle. almost no. 60 years old. Back you will back. not see other athletes on the planet like him. He's one of a kind. He's the perfect storm, and he has a big challenge in front Close of him. Thumbs. Here we go. In return of Denis Tiplenko. Round thumbs. number two. The grip's there. Bill's ready to pull the pin on these two grenades Close and just hands. let them go. Ready. Oh. 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 You saw the hook coming in. John was ready for it. Center. Let's go, Back Bill. Hey, the anticipation. You should hear the dead silence Thumbs. of the space in Dubai. On, gentlemen, no moving. It's the moment. Close your hands. This is what we've waited for. Oh. 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 Both having a smile there, but John's not playing into the funny games. No jokes were being told here. John is dead serious about this. John's John going is in dead for a serious. hook. Oh, I feel like John. John feels like he has things to prove. All righty, we're gonna get it. Man on a mission. Here we go. go. Ready, bang. Go. Try score that hook. Try score that hold on. Hold on. 
John went in for the hook and stopped him again. Hey, Millimeter I, from the pad. The thing was with John, we, we were talking yesterday, and he said, looking at all the practice matches with uh, Dennis, no one tests him inside. Everyone tries. He's like, I would love if we could test him inside. I believe he's going to stay on outside from now on. Maybe later on he will go inside. I would still keep on giving a little bleed, a little pump on Dennis's arm for this to be a match. Dennis Siplenko, 2-0 ahead. Yeah, John Brzezignic needs to get into his inner 80s slasher movie. Wow, and just get so the close. Bleed. I cannot believe you couldn't even fit a playing card underneath that stop there. And then Dennis making another hit and getting the pin. That is something else. Is look at Dennis. He's on his knees. That's taken a lot out of him. Adrenaline. Adrenaline kicks in. Uh, I, I believe we saw it a lot in the first match where the adrenaline kicked in right from the start for Sabin, and then he slowly came down from it and get, you know, get the grips of it. Dennis is getting pumped. That's what John wants. Dennis right now still looking like a beast. He told me he's about 25% from his best shape ever. So he there's feels like there's a lot of improvement. But John told to us today in a pre-show, if you watch, he's like, I'm not that far from my yeah. best. My shoulder feels pretty damn good. And look what he's holding. I mean, to, to catch him twice now. And John still feels really good. So now, can I, I think John's goal is round three is to ensure that he can see Dennis's heart beat through his bicep. That's how much he wants to pump him up. That's how much he wants to bleed the big man we are this is 2023 this is real life we're in round three of john brazink versus dennis saplenkov here at king of the table six i cannot believe it they are ready to go to battle uh we are we're, we're pumped up we are just I'm, jumping up I'm and so down back to you. this is this is the best experience probably <laughs> by arbison career yeah. so this is amazing. Yeah, John Brzezang, Dennis Ciplenko, right here, right now in Dubai from space, live. We want to thank every single one of you who bought the pay-per-view. Because if you bought the pay-per-view, you are supporting these athletes. And if you didn't, you're a bellin. Yeah, that's right. Absolute pelican. If you're one of those pirates, we don't want you to uh, get uh, out of here. Don't let the door hit you where God split you. But let's get back to the amazing match here. John Brzezang. Dennis Saplenkov. Round number three. I mean, we have to keep saying their names because I think we're just... Let's see what John shot. does. I believe he goes for a top roll. He will try to stop him this time. Let's see if Dennis' endurance holds up. Round number three. Close your hands. It's happening. Bang. John has... Dennis leans into it. John holds on. Dennis tries to get that pronator in good position. We see the stoicism in his face. But John's trying to protect that pronator. There's a lot of hand on Dennis. Dennis slowly turning, getting position, getting position. John Doesn't look pumped at all. On for dear life as Dennis is in his best Harley Davidson impersonation. But it's John holding on. We are stuck there. Oh, Zakan buckles. Zakan buckles. Can't hold on so much too long. Wow. Dennis had to put in his inner backstreet boys because the smash hits just kept coming. And that's what you need to do in order to Very pin John Brzee. It's, it's not easy, but Dennis Ciplenko is comfortably beating John Brzee right now. 3-0. The round number four will tell us if there's going to be round number seven. As we look to the replay here, that just that last surge. I mean, there's only so many times uh, an absolute cyborg of Dennis can make big hits big drives big dumps like that and john couldn't hold on with that last drive just took him off guard and it is three nil in the comeback match to dennis saplenko talking with dennis dennis told me that uh, he worked a lot of on table he did like more table sessions that he usually does and he said his endurance has increased his table would say iq because he stops the match he is in a very good position he's in much control and he works from there and he's looking very good this is the return of Denis Siplenko like we wanted to see it but John Berzank is still John Berzank ladies and gentlemen we are happy and oh, we are absolutely happy blessed doesn't even describe it don't you dare lie to the people Heracles and John's corner I think Heracles is just reminding him hey I bet yeah not that long ago Heracles showing him the dead wrist press yeah. he's like 
Could you try this? The, the old the old bait and move. He's yeah, yeah gonna try and teach him how to catfish Dennis. Yeah. But this is just something else. Uh, that round was nothing short of amazing. Dennis is ready. What will John do? What will John do? Because John can again try maybe go inside, but that back pressure of Dennis is insane. All those sideways surges and plus hand. Like, you can see him gaining position with his hand every single time they stopped. So while they stopped, it wasn't like Dennis was just sitting there and waiting. No, he was working. He was trying to get position. Uh, I just feel bad for everyone that's watching this live at the Space in Dubai because they paid for a full seat, but they're only using the edge of it. This is something good. I mean, the tension is real here. Half of the people are on their feet. They are, uh, yeah. The, the excitement is real. The respect out there john was looking for his nod he really wanted it and i think after these first three rounds he'll get it but the question is ray can john bring dennis to his side of the table can the great one get a pin on let's dennis? see if because this is the moment this is it either dennis Saplenko wins this match or we're in for a battle here we go round four and there's the hit there, John with the back pressure in the middle of the table. But it's the surge from Dennis, and the hits keep coming. He's just loading the shotgun up. Now John is tiring, he's wincing there. He's trying to get through the fingers, but he's losing his wrist there. Dennis and is pulling very smart, very smart. As you see now, he's gaining position, waiting, 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 baiting, baiting. Elbow came off the second time for John, so that's an... That's two elbow falls, I think. Okay. Break apart a sec. Let's see what is the call from Bill. As we see, people are excited. People are excited. The way that John Brzezin can stop the match is already impressive. Yeah, so uh, I think Bill's looking to see how many elbow fouls there was. So there's one. <laughs> so they're just they're just there having no no just hand okay so we can hear john no, no. thought we could hear uh bill and tim the referees there on screen so they're just looking to see how many elbow fouls john had you saw it in the rules meeting this was something that john was discussing and just wanting clarification on two fouls to john Brzenk. Two fairs to John Brzezink. Yeah. Thank you very much, Captain Bill. So he lifted the table up, fair, lifted it up again to get advantage. Second fair there. Oh, Dennis. Okay. Welcome back. Hey, oh, welcome back. Play. Yes. Welcome so back, Dennis. Call? As much as I wanted to see John Brzezink win, I'm really happy that Dennis is back in the picture. Yes, because John, we can put John up against anyone and we're buying the pay per view. Uh, but for now, Dennis, to be doing this. Uh, and back just like everyone else the real is starting question to is, come back how much of his best shape he can regain or increase because there are titans in the sport sport is different since he left yes yes and he's finding that out the hard way he has been in a bit of struggle town the first couple of rounds but yeah he's just been able to have composure have calmness in him and he's now finding himself one pin away from winning this Stop matchup down. So let's see how round four goes. John Brzezink just needs to get it, needs to get a pin. He doesn't want to fail on this one. No. There's the hit. The no, wins no, from no. John, the press, straight the two strong. Straight, straight to the yeah, 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 yeah. No, I Welcome back, start. Dennis Siblanko. We'll start. So John, I was, I was way underneath his hand. Yeah, so John just oh. acknowledging that it was a terrible start. Oh. So we'll see. I, I, I would love to see two more rounds. Let's we'll see if they, rounds. I think they're going to pull two more rounds because that would be, that would be good. Right? Yes. One more round. One more round. Keep going. Pull the six. Give us what we want, hook. John. Hook. Hook. Hook, John. Hook. That's the run out there. Yeah, John just acknowledging he just had a terrible start there. He was way too deep in Dennis's hands. Congratulations to Dennis. He has won this match, but there's still a continuation. When you take the strap down, it's been turned way underneath the So it is now 4-0. So Bubkins is having a chat with Adam Silver there. So we'll see what is happening. Hopefully we get another round. 
Dennis is smiling. Dennis is in a good mood. I don't think John is in much bad mood also because, you know, he's facing Dennis where a lot of people still believe he's the top of the food chain or the very top of the food chain. Oh, already. Here we go already. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going in round number five. Oh. I'm super impressed with John. What John did today versus Dennis Siplenko is insane. Okay, so this is about can John get the nod of respect from Dennis Siplenkov. Round five. Four nil. Congratulations, Dennis. Six round super match format straight into the straps. I feel like uh, Ja will Ja will go home and he's like, I might do this again. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he will absolutely. John, as 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 humble as he is, he doesn't like losing. He doesn't like losing, and he is the absolute computer of arm wrestling. He will crack the code. He in his head, he's like, I I, I think I can do better. Yeah, and I think he can. And I think he can. And, and, and especially at 58 years old, he should be having grandkids that are competing against Dennis Aplenkov, not right. himself there. Right. He's just brilliant. But we'll go in there. Round five. Can John bring anything into this match? But Dennis getting the win there. Let's see how this goes. Close your hands. We're ready to go. And there's the hit there, and he's leaning back. We're stuck in the middle of the table. Where does Dennis go from there? Look at every single vein bursting from both of their forearms. John just trying to figure out where it goes. His hand is Dennis blowing is great up. great control, great control, great technical pulling from Dennis. Slowly working, slowly working. He, he knows he, he lacks maybe some of the power to finish it straight away, but he works from every right, position. <laughs> Uh, John saying, <laughs> put the sword to yeah. me. Oh, I'm yeah. done. And he's pulling through there. There's nothing there. What, what John yeah. can do right now, he absolutely needs Dennis to surge a oh. little bit. Because then he can kind of pull him out position. There it is. Wow. Dennis Siplanko. He was just treating you like a power constrictor. So much our power at this point. <laughs> he apologizes. He also apologizes. He apologizes. Everyone at the board right now is, is clapping their hands. And salute to be a student of Dennis Siplenko, what an amazing match. What an amazing performance. Dennis Siplenko is back. Those are the best news our Muslim community has received in a long time. We will see. Dennis Siplenko competing on table more and more. And he looks solid. Uh, I, because it was 5-0, there should be round number six, but six. round number six. Yeah, so Jake got really confused. Jake just ran away. He's like, well, they all, they all started cheering and then they like started walking around. <laughs> they were like, handshaking, they were hugging and they like raising hands and, and hugging. And yeah, I got that one wrong, but they're going all six. That's what we wanted. This is just his second king of the table. He'll get better. He'll get better. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we saw an amazing match. We're going in round number six at this point. Let's see what happens. There's a good chance that Dennis is the nicest guy in arm wrestling. And we will see it right here. Yeah, we def we definitely will. We, if you have followed Dennis's career, you know exactly what is coming right now. Uh, and this is where John gets the ultimate nod of respect. But this is the sixth round there. Yeah, I, I ran over to have a chat with them both because they were the, the, the crowd was clapping, they were hugging. You just got confused. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, mate, how could you not hey, with these We, we have so stars. much emotions on this match. It's just... Greatness on our wrestling table. Dennis Siplenko, John Berzink, and there's so much to do more. And I'm so happy we live in this okay. new era of our wrestling where these things are possible to do. We are witnessing history. The comeback of Dennis is real. It is done. And we are here round number six. And there's the hit there. 
and the press is coming in, but John is holding on, and he's coming to this side of the table. There's a hook <laughs> in the middle of the table, but John's got advantage here as they rock back Dan, Dan and forth. said, like, he feels something. He doesn't want to go there that much. They're stuck in a hook. This is what John wanted to test, but that back pressure was just too much on those first rounds. Two absolute Let, Let's see who has a little bit more where... endurance in this position. <laughs> now the crowd is cheering and he's rocked him back and wow. forth. He's rocked him. Now I will go back to the yeah, table. Jake, get out of here. I, I don't know where Jake came back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed the return of one of the kings of Armisling, probably one of the strongest pullers who ever stepped on Armisling table. And he's just getting started. John Mazing gave his best. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy we get a chance to witness this arm wrestling match. Absolutely dominant performance from Dennis Ciplenko. But John showed that he has still some teeth in him. And he gave a great match to Dennis Ciplenko. Right now, we're going to go to Jake for a little bit of interviews. But just looking back at this match... A lot of back pressure from John, but Dennis had amazing endurance. He had a lot of power. In the last match, even in the press, trying it in a hook, John was like, no, you're too much. And yeah, right now, Ozzy Armistar Jake with the interview. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. You have just witnessed history in arm wrestling. And I am here with John. John, congratulations. You knew it was tough against it. Can you just explain to everyone how the great Dennis feels? He feels in very good shape. He's, uh, I don't know if he's completely back yet, but he's definitely on his way. His hand is seriously... Seriously, the strongest stuff ever felt. So, yeah, it's crazy strong. The strongest you've ever felt. Well, I can, uh, yeah, you're huffing and puffing. I can hear it, man. And put it all out there. The containment that this, this man has is incredible. So, uh, yeah, and he's got that little bit back pressure. Now he's got that, uh, it's not really, it's a good top roll. It's a, uh, just a side pressure hand control top roll. It's, uh, it's hard to go through. What were the feelings after round one when you gave it everything? You got a couple of stops. We were losing it in the commentary booth. We almost killed the pay-per-view feed because we were so excited. Did you think you were still in it or were you like... I had a little purchase. I had, I had a, a good setup in the strap. I felt my hand was in good position. Um, I was twisting with my thumb pretty well. Um, the only thing I would have liked to have had is it be on my side of the table a little bit. It was a little bit too much on his side, which kept my hand uh, flat and really took its toll on my forearm. I really couldn't, uh, it really takes a, a beat. The forearm takes a beating when it's stretched out like that. But no, I felt good. Actually, I'm super thrilled that I had the arm strength to kind of hang with him. Um, I was worried that he was just going to surge and just blow me off the side of the table. So I'm really very satisfied with uh, my performance. I, I would have liked to have done a little better, obviously, but the man's in super shape. I mean, he's, I, I'm so happy that he's, he's back and he's um, pursuing the sport. And you're going to see a lot more of this guy. And a lot more as in rematch? Uh, uh, I don't, I'm not going to get any better, and I'm sure he's going to get a little bit better. So um, we'll see what the future holds. But, yeah, I'm, I'm always open. Uh, John, it's an absolute honor, mate. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest arm wrestler of all time, John Brzezink. My man, the cyborg. Congratulations. First thing... First thing I just want to say, welcome back to arm wrestling. Первую очередь, Денис, добро пожаловать снова в армрестлинг. How did you feel out there, Dennis? Were, were you super nervous or did it just come back naturally as if you never left the table? Денис, как ты ощущал себя за столом? Так же нервничал, как ты говорил нам на интервью перед или ты просто ворвался как раньше и чувствовал себя очень уверенно не ну первые два раунда все-таки э, как раз были самые опасные как раз когда ты прощупывал да ну и потом уже понимал то что вывозишь по выносливости там уже было попроще ну первые два раунда такие были опасные 
Well, I would say that first two rounds were tough for me. Uh, they were the most dangerous ones, and uh, these were the time when I had to understand, um, do I have enough of endurance? And after that, uh, the next rounds were already okay. I felt more confident. So what does now the future hold for Dennis? Was this a one-and-done match, or are we looking to have more matches and keep you on the table? И снова этот вопрос, Денис. Как ты думаешь, что будет в будущем для тебя? Uh, был ли это такой, uh, как бы, одноразовый uh, поединок, uh, ивент, или же ты хочешь дальше продолжать? Ну, конечно, я это сказал. После поединка будет понятно, что дальше. Конечно, уверенности прибавилось. Хочется дальше готовиться ну, и выступать. Of course, yes, as I said, uh, I got more confidence now, I want to prepare more, and I want to perform more. Last question, who would you like next? Последний вопрос, Денис. Скажи нам, кого бы ты хотел видеть в следующем? Ну, не, не то, что бы хотел, уже есть договоренность определенная. Уже как бы назад дороги нет, это Девон. Через, 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 пол, через полгода. I mean, I don't have to translate that. You're all hurt. Uh, there is no way out, no way back. Uh, Devon, definitely. Yeah, you heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, the Cyborg, Dennis Saplenkov. <laughs>